subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video by RA Solutions. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to use Zoom, the video conferencing application to allow you to host join cloud meetings. So first and foremost, what I've done is I've downloaded the Zoom app onto my desktop PC here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to log in into Zoom. So you will need a Zoom account for this to be able to work. So you are able to host your own meetings and um, add calendars, schedule meetings for people to join. Before we do that, please like, my video please subscribe to my youtube channel here please share my videos to your friends and families please support my channel i will absolutely appreciate it so if i open up the zoom app here on my windows 10 pc i will see the logon screen here now in the logon screen i will put my credentials in there to log into the zoom application so what i'm going to do is sign in here before i sign in there's obviously other ways to sign in to zoom you can use google sso and facebook also to sign in as well but if you haven't got a zoom account you are able to sign up by clicking this hyperlink here and that will take you to the sign in sign up um, screen to be able to sign in sign in or create a zoom account let me click on the sign in button here to log into zoom so once we log into zoom i'm going to maximize the screen here there's a few options that you can now choose from from the zoom dashboard here so obviously i've maximized my screen we'll start off by the top left hand corner here top left hand corner is the search facility you can either click on the search box here or you can simply type in control f it will open up the search bar here where you can search for specific uh, results so you can sp uh, search for contacts channels messages and files that been sent or received um, via the zoom application under your account so I can click on contacts channels messages and files because this is a brand new account for me I'm just showing you here the different capabilities of zoom I haven't yet managed to send or receive messages files so on and so forth or added any contacts to my zoom account so if I click on the X here, it will go back to the main dashboard. Moving along on the right side, you then have a few more options. You've got the home button here, which will obviously take you to this screen, which you see in front of you. Then you've got the chat box here. Now let me just explain what the chat box does. So on the left side of the chat box, it will have your name here. Now then you have a few options. So obviously you can click on this button here to start a new chat, which obviously we don't want to do. Let me let's just close that down actually let's pretend we want to start a new chat you can search for the name of the person or email address and write their details in there and you can add a chat mess message in um, below here at the bottom you can also add a screenshot file audio message and obviously an emoji bottom right hand corner here um, to the person or people you are sending the message or messages to now when you go across or go down, you've got channels. You can also add a channel, create a channel, join a channel in Zoom. And you can also add specific bots in there to monitor your channel. I've clicked on the plus sign. It will open up Microsoft Bing. And you have lots of different um, bot options to choose from, which you can incorporate in Zoom. But we're not going to go on to into that um, because obviously that's a totally separate video here so this is just a basic video showing you how to access the different options in zoom so moving on from the chat new chat you've got mentions in there you've got bookmark messages you've got all files and you've got contact requests in there as well so every time you get a chat or a message received it, you open up you have a you'll have a notification in the chat, chat option you open it up find who the chat's from and you respond up accordingly there so i'm going to close that one down and now i'm going to move across and click on the chat again there you go so that's how to add a new chat by the way moving across from chat you go to meetings this is where you can schedule a meeting or as access a, a meeting you've been invited to so here's one i've set up 
uh, for the 8th of September. It's a bit of a breakout discussion I'm having with fellow colleagues in there. So I've already set that up, but I'm going to show you in this video how to set your own up um, or I'll do that in another meeting. And then a contacts option here, you click on contacts and obviously that will list all the contacts you have uh, which have been obviously imported or saved into Zoom which you can access easily and all the channels here in this option here. So contacts and channels there. And then the next one is apps. So you can integrate different apps um, to Zoom. So you can add apps to enhance your Zoom experience here. So if I click on add apps there, what it will do, it will open up. If I click on this link here, it will open up the Zoom marketplace where you can access different apps, similar to what I've just shown you way um, the bot option, which I opened up earlier up. So I'm not gonna um, do more of that. So I'm gonna close that down. So that's the dashboard. If I click on home again, now actually moving across. Yeah, moving across. So here is um, your obviously initials. So I'm available at the moment here with the green um, colored icon at the top look if I click on left click on my mouse but it gives you a few options of um, who you are you can go into the settings you can set whether you're available whether you're away whether you want not to be disturbed so you can set how long you don't want to be disturbed for there you can change your picture picture even um, try top features help access some help about zoom go to the help cent center or you can even report a problem within Zoom. You can check for updates, you can switch to portrait view, you can switch your account if you've got another account, another Resume account, and you can also sign out there. Useful settings there. Now, if I click off it, um, now to go, go back onto it, click on settings here, the first one, what it will do, it will open up a settings pop-up box here where you can change specific settings within Zoom. So the first option here under the drop down, actually all the menu options, you've got the general settings there. So you can check or uncheck whether you want Zoom to be started when you open up uh, Windows, when you load Windows. Again, you want to use dual monitors, but if you've got two monitors and you want one of them to use the, obviously Zoom video conferencing bit or not enter full screen mode automatically when you join or start a meeting um, so on and so forth and obviously your reaction what skin tone you want for your reactions there you can change video options you can also change audio options here you can test your speaker microphone and other uh, fancy stuff in there you can uh, look at this share screen options here what sort of options you want when you're sharing your screen again the chat function you can disable your chat when i'm guessing when you're hosting a meeting so on and so forth and change specific options there zoom apps background and filters this is a really nifty feature here if you wanted to add a different background or um, add filters to you to your background you can choose a virtual background I normally go for the blur background here where it blurs the background um, but not my face so on and so forth please check that out you can also add a custom image or video as your background there so you can add either an image or a video and you can set that as your background and you can also mirror your video so obviously um, check that feature out you can also add studio effects here check those out there oh, let me go back onto it Go to background and filters recording options you can change those you can change your profile you can change your statistics check how long you've been using zoom for how much processing power how much memory zooms taking up um, in terms of the audio you can check the information there video and screen sharing information there um, and also keyboard shortcuts you can set those up change those customize those to your heart can to your heart's content and accessibility features as well there so if the fonts are too small, you can um, large, enlarge the fonts, zoom in on the font, fonts, so on and so forth. And any captions, you can enable, disable captions there. And please check this out as well. So those are the general um, settings options within Zoom. Moving on then, if I go back to home, because that's where you will begin when you log into Zoom, you can see a few features in the middle. 
Um, so here on the left side, there's four options to choose from. You can obviously start a new meeting. Um, if you want to be the host, you can join in an existing meeting if you have the meeting ID. You can schedule a meeting for a specific date and you can share your screen here. On the right side, you can add your calendar so people can see, you can connect your work or personal calendar to Zoom to view upcoming, upcoming meetings in there so people can see or you can see when you've got scheduled meetings or when they're going to be taking place. In here, you can change the picture of the background by clicking this camera icon here and follow the um, options there. Stay tuned in my next video what I will be doing. I'll be going into detail in Zoom, how, showing you how to create a new meeting using all the different features in a new meeting, how to create breakout rooms, how to record your meeting, how to share your screen, how to join an existing meeting and how to schedule a meeting for your peers and colleagues. If you like this video, please press that like button. Please click on the bell icon to receive notification. And most importantly, please subscribe to my channel. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.